My name is Ava Walters Kaut, and I am a registered social worker. I've been in private practice for 35 years. Uh, the name of my company is Psyche and Soma, and I work with body and mind. How I would sort of describe the relationship with clients is, you know, it's a real collaboration. I mean, they're consulting with me, but we're kind of on the same team. I can say, you know, I've been through this with a thousand people. I'm happy to guide you through with what I know and what I've experienced and what I've learned from other clients. I'm still learning from my clients 35 years in, right, which is a great thing. You know, this is one of the things we talk about with people is that good mental health isn't something you're either born with or not. I mean, you know, if you think about the analogy of physical health, none of us thinks that we're going to be, we're just born with good physical health and we never have to go to the gym, we don't have to eat right. We, I mean, that would be crazy. And mental health is like that too. You don't just have it or you don't have it. You cultivate it. You work at it. You continue to work at it. It's an interesting concept for people that, you know, they have these symptoms that they really want to get rid of, that they're in a struggle with, that obviously interferes with their life in ways that are difficult. But if we can talk about, okay, so your nervous system is really just trying to protect you. It's getting a faulty message, but it's still trying to protect you. And it's, doing, it's trying to do a really good job. So instead of being angry or frustrated or disappointed with it and feeling like there's something wrong with you, what if we look at the messages that we're giving it? What if we change the way we think about these things and try to find ways of calming your nervous system? Because if you do that, if you coax your nervous system along, if you're gentle and understanding and compassionate with it, it'll work with you. I mean, it wants to. You know, our nervous systems want to regulate better. What we do is try and give it the information to do that. It's so important to continue to learn these things, um, to stay fresh and interested and curious about stuff. And Because, you know, I'm going to be doing this for a while still. I, I, I really love what I do. I think it's a real privilege to, I mean, it sounds really hokey, but it's kind of a privilege to sort of take this little trip with people.